For such a long time, I had the bog standard setup when it comes to the Quest 2. The strap, the normal casing, the space air for your glasses, everything that you get with the headset. The first difference I noticed when I got the Halo strap was just like, this is so much better, especially when you're wearing glasses. It's so much easier to get on your face because you're not trying to stretch a band right over. And this was a cheap very very cheap halo strap that just seems to make all the difference but then it had me thinking the other day what about if we take it to the next step after that and actually start looking at the vr cover because although i've never really had a massive issue with this you do get a lot of light leaking from the bottom and i kind of want to see what a difference a more expensive cover will make to the actual experience of playing VR. Now when I bought the VR cover that I'm going to show you, I also got this for free, which is very similar to what you got free off Oculus themselves, except it comes with the nose flap. Now one of the main reasons I, I looked at not getting something like this in the original, the first place, was for the fact that it has this nose flap and I was really worried it would stop me from being able to play but as you can see no matter how stupid I look that it actually doesn't go close to your glasses now it is a bit snug around the glasses uh, it pulls them off at the same time and I'm kind of hoping that the VR cover that I've bought isn't going to do that now it might be for the fact that this is a, a rubbery plastic which you know attaches to your glasses more but honestly the normal cover does that anyway even when I take it off it, it brings my glasses with me. I've, I've sort of put up with it for a while. But I thought, no. No. It's time. It's time for an upgrade. And will this cover make an actual difference to the experience of playing VR? So you've got your spacer on there as well. And that's for the glasses to give you just a little bit more distance. I've also, and this is a new, uh, uh, an extra improvement. Because I was kind of worried for a while about the lenses getting knocked by my glasses. So I have got a lens caps must. that go over the top. And I was worried about them as well. Because I thought, Push well, them is that going to affect the actual visuals? But let's take a look and see. So we clip this in. Clippity clip. Pop it on your head. And oh, oh! I'll just lift up the flaps a little bit so they're not stuck under. The first test is: does it pull my glasses off? Which I you know a lot of the times the other one did. But let's let's test this theory. Let's just sort the flap out. Okay, so we're on. And no, it actually it doesn't actually it doesn't even feel like it touches it which is 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 new <laughs> i don't know if there's a more of a width to it or whether it just generally i don't know it 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 feels better it's also incredibly hot today it's about 35 in this country which is which is warm and i would have expected this to be on my head it would steam up the lenses and Let's, let's test that theory, shall we? Doesn't seem to have done. Now, whether that would be different when I'm actually moving around a lot more, if I'm playing Beat Saber or something like that, we'd have to wait and see. But, no steaming up. Also, I don't know what it is about it. It's it, If you feel closer to the actual environment, you feel more immersed into it. Now, I still can see a little bit of light leak from the bottom, but nowhere near. I mean... I, um, you're talking like a line at the most near my nose. You just feel more part of it. I, I can imagine if you're watching a cinema experience type thing, then you're going to feel more part of the actual movie. If you're playing games, like my head feels a lot more secure when I move it up and down. It, there's, there's not as much movement and I've not really even got it as tight as it normally would have. Let's have it as tight as I normally would have. Yeah, normally it would like... When I move my head like that, it would actually bang against my glasses and and I make it a, a, a slightly uncomfortable, not massively uncomfortable, but slightly uncomfortable experience. Whereas it's not, it's not done that. Overall, I am quite impressed. 
along with that, the lenses themselves, again, I've put my headset on, I'm sweating, <laughs> sorry, and it's not come through onto the actual, it's not, it's not steamed up the actual display, whether there's, I am really impressed. I know it's a bit of money and I've always been put off by spending it, but I, I feel like it's actually worthwhile amount of, of money to spend to to feel more comfortable playing it feels more snug against your face but without being uncomfortably snug getting it on and off again as well as long as i line it up right but the lenses that are on you can't tell that they're there there there's there's no difference between what you normally would see and no it's, it's not really improved it but it's not made it any worse and then there's also you know you're not worried then about whether or not your glasses are going to knock them and scratch the lens. Overall, I am really happy with this upgrade of, of just, you know, a little bit extra money. You don't have to buy everything. But if you're going to have the glasses, you do need the spacer on there as well. The standard one doesn't work with this. You have to buy their spacer themselves. And it's pretty straightforward to fit. Let us know in the comments down below if you were thinking of getting this and this has helped you make a better decision because I'd really like to know these types of videos, whether they actually help or not. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.